Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right in and do this get ready with me. Using the Nivea Soft Face Cream and the Dr. Branded Pores No More Face Primer. Going in with the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint in Magla. I'm just going to go ahead and dot this all over my face. And I'm going to buff it out using the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and a little bit of Max Fix Plus. I don't necessarily wear foundation because a lot of them are very heavy on my skin. So when I went into Sephora asking for something very lightweight, she recommended this to me and she said that you can build the coverage on it. And I fell in love with it as soon as she put it on my face. So I do recommend this for anybody that doesn't really like to wear foundation. Using the Sephora face palette and a big fluffy brush, I'm taking the banana shade all over my face to set the foundation and as well dragging it down my neck. Using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. And just like that, they're magically done. <laughs> going in with the Maybelline The Nudes face palette, I'm picking up that dark copper shade and that dark brown shade with a pencil brush and putting that all in my crease from inner corner to outer corner. Going in with any fluffy brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out those edges in windshield wiper motions, cough, and then go back to blending. <laughs> this really pretty purple color I'm gonna grab it. It's from my Morphe 35P palette, but it fell out. I'm gonna put it all over my lid from inner corner to outer corner, making it as pigmented as I truly want it to be. Going back in with that same exact pencil brush from earlier, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out those harsh edges. Picking up my Morphe 35P palette, I'm grabbing this gorgeous purple shade right here and an angled brush. I'm going to put this color all over my outer V, but I decided at first to make it into an eyeliner, but then I didn't like it. So then I just went ahead and put it all over my outer V. Then with any fluffy brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out those harsh edges. Damn, daddy. Back at it again with that Morphe 35P palette. I'm grabbing that lilac shade and popping it on the center of my lid all the way up until my inner corner. God, it's such a gorgeous shade. And then I'm just going to go ahead and darken the outer V with that darker color. And... Blending out those harsh edges because, girl, don't nobody want to see your edges because you will get, like, criticized on that shit. Trust and believe. Alrighty, so with my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black and using the brush that it came with, I'm going to go ahead and put that all in my waterline. Now that I am editing this, I completely forgot to film my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill you in. I grabbed the dark purple shade and with a flat definer brush, I used it really close to my lower lash line. And then for my inner corner, I just dragged that very pretty lilac color down. But now I'm going in with my... Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner and making my wing. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes with an eyelash curler and then I'm gonna first go in with the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara, coating my lashes evenly. And then with the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara, I'm gonna put that on top as well as my lower lashes. And then grabbing an e angled brush, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Sephora face palette, grabbing that dark shade as well as that like a little bit lighter shade. I'm just going to do a slight contour, making a fish face so that I can carve out my cheeks by feeling the hollows of my cheeks with the brush. 
Also running this along my temples, hairline, and my jawline, making sure I drag it down my neck. And then with the medium to darkest shade, I'm just going to go ahead and carve out two lines down the sides of it. And then across the center of my nose and at the tip of my nose, I'm going to blend it out with the same finger and then I'm going to go in and blend it out with the brush as well. First grabbing my Becca Jaclyn Hill Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Champagne Glow Palette. I'm going to first go ahead and go in with a small fan brush. I'm going to pick up Champagne Pop and put that all on my Cupid Spell. Picking up Champagne Pop and Pearl on my pinky, I'm just going to put that at the tip of my nose to give me the perfect highlight ever. And then with a bigger fan brush, I'm going to go ahead and pick up both colors and run that on my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, eyebrows, and my chin. Can we just take a minute and see how much life this gives me? Highlighted, non-highlighted, highlighted. I love pearl, but it makes my skin look very ashy because I'm so dark. And then champagne pop is too subtle for me so i mix both of them to give me the most dramatic highlight ever and i absolutely love this i really hope that i can find a dupe for champagne pop because let's face it it was only limited edition and then to finish off my face i'm just gonna go ahead and use my mac fix plus after drenching myself in Max Fix Plus, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Color Rich Lip Liner in Eternal Mauve and naturally lining my entire lips. I honestly thought this lip combination went perfect with this eye look, so that's why I'm going ahead and using this. Alright, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you could please like comment and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time with another video Mwah.